Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, you guys. So I'm here taking care of another daily message. We're going to see um, what food for thought we can give Cancer for today. What message comes up for my lovely Cancers? I'm going to start with the energy. Of course, check out the description box, y'all, for all the important information you may want to know. Um, but what's the energy surrounding my cancers here? So we got reflection, you guys. Reflection. Um, a lot of you all could be spending time in reflection. Um, I know that. Remember, we talked about this week having to kind of revisit some things from the past. So it may kind of be a time of isolation and reflection. I also, too, feel like in matters of love... There are, you are reflecting, I'm getting like, because you know in that weekly reading, y'all, the projection energy too, because this love energy is here at the bottom of the deck. It's like, what are you, what are you reflecting? What are you, what are you putting out there? Or what are you rejecting? Because that's what's coming back to you or, you know, that's the, um, <clears throat> that's the energy that. You can tell, you can see what's inside of you. Your inside reflects your outside, or your outside is a reflection of your inside. See, yeah, everything is energy. So it's like, what what kind of energy? Y'all leave with love. I knew that came to my mind for some reason, and I put it in the community tab, okay? Leave with, with love. It's like love at the center of everything you do, love um, in your energy, in anything you do, and I'm not speaking of romantic love, y'all, like pure love, pure love. What are you reflecting? What are you What are you putting out there to attract back? Because see, we pick up the deck and I see this five of cups now. And see, doesn't this look like the reflection, these two cups here? Doesn't it feel like two cups? Look, turn around. Turn around, Cancer. Let's see. This blue energy, too. You could definitely kind of be emotional. So let's see. Why is reflection here for Cancer today? Uh-oh. You guys see. So we got the Seven of Cups that came out. But the Ace of Pentacles wanted to come out with it, too. And, y'all, this Ace of Pentacles came out a uh, very dramatically in the collective reading I did over on my main tarot channel and see I feel like this confusion someone could have a confusion about a new opportunity or what path you're wanting to follow you could definitely be reflecting um about that you guys there could be an amazing opportunity for you here in this ace of pentacles See, but we got renewal here at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I definitely feel like, okay, so you got to make sure that you don't let your past hold you back from, from new beginning, new energy, y'all. Because, yeah, you know, it. it's time to go. Yeah, this Eight of Swords, it's, it's, it's time to move on from some things. It's like, yeah, we're revisiting it. We're seeing the lesson for what it was we're moving past it we're moving forward you figure out in this energy of this time of reflection you decide what path you want to take you're, you're gonna decide what path you want to take um so you may be contemplating it right now having to make this choice don't over analyze the situation though um I feel like give your time some, yeah, give yourself some time to like kind of rest and rest your mind because you may have really been like overanalyzing this decision. It could have even been a decision about a home or like a vehicle, something happened with um, something tangible, but it's up to you here at the bottom of the deck. Y'all, it's up to you. You make the choice. What does your soul, what does your soul desire? What's your heart's desire? Mm, what's the message for Cancer's today, Spirit? Let's see what comes up. What's the message for Cancer's today? See, uh, opportunity. 
you guys. But meditation brings answers. So I'm definitely feeling like a, uh, a quiet time, y'all. A somber time of really just sitting back in the presence of... um. In the presence of spirit in your higher self, Cancer. Like, this is what I feel here in this meditation brings answers. Like, this is some real, this is some real deep reflection, okay? This is really looking at yourself in the mirror. But, yeah, there's unexpected um, abundance with this opportunity, y'all. It's like you pick the right answer or pick the right cup and the abundance flows. Definitely, y'all, the Ace of Pentacles showing up. Abundance is right there. Um... If you are struggling with this choice, ultimately it's up to you. But ask your angels to help you see it clearly. Ask your angels for a sign. Ask, um, you know, ask for the faith that you need to move forward on this path. Like one of these paths is golden for you. And you can't let the past hold you back. You have to let the past, um, the past lessons propel you forward, Cancer. But I feel like in your heart of hearts, you really do know what to do. You need to go ahead and make the decision and stop trying to um, analyze it about this opportunity that could be uh, coming in for you. So, let's see. Let's pull a inner peace card for cancer today. Give me one for Cancer Spirit. Thank you. The, look, the universe rewards m motion. All you got to do is g get started. All you got to do is follow that path. It's going to lead to your abundance. You will be rewarded, y'all. Motion. Instead of sitting here analyzing, well, I'm not. You know, I'm not saying I'm not rushing you out of your, your analyzing. So you you gotta get to a place of peace. I understand that. But you're being guided to take some type of a action to go down some certain type of path. I feel like this opportunity has been handed to you. God sent, okay? Um, and you're needing to to act on it. You know, you may be kind of stuck in reflection because you are, you're thinking about everything that could go wrong or worrying about this, worrying about that. But the message here, it says, <clears throat> let's see, the message here, it says, do you fantasize about your future, but don't know how to get there? Do you have anxiety because you feel trapped by your current reality? Are you overwhelmed by choice or lack of clarity? If so, you could be at a standstill. It can be hard to move forward when the path is unclear, but this is a reminder that you have everything you need to move into the next phase of your life. I really want y'all, I, I um, put that uh, collective reading I did in the community tab. If this reading is, I mean, if this message is re resonating for you, like this reading, that one definitely may be too, because listen, when I say it was made crystal clear that you have every single last thing that you need, to move to this next part of your life, this next phase of your journey, you may find a message in it. So definitely check out the community tab, you guys. Um, but the universe is always supporting you. You may want clarity before taking a step forward, but the universe doesn't work that way, okay? Okay, look, the universe ain't got an answer to you. You just got to go forward, okay? Okay. Only when you take steps and move forward can the universe conspire to uplift and support your momentum. And you got to think about it like this, y'all. It's like when, it's like, you know, I guess people be thinking or be in, in, in a perfect world. Because I get it. I've even said, man, like, I need God to come down here and tell me, right, face to face, which way to go. I need you to say, you know, do this, do that. And you probably done been there too. It doesn't work like that because... Y'all, we're spirits. Okay, but I'm not going to get too deep in it, but it doesn't work like that. Like, the only way that you're going to be able to find out the purpose for your life or what you're supposed to be doing, you have to just do stuff. Like, you have you have to be in motion. You have to try doors. Knock on a door. If it opens, you know, go in it. Try it. If you're met with obstacle after obstacle, like, it'll be clear. Now, I ain't saying, I ain't saying the right path will be um, clear of any obstacles and it's just going to be, oh, follow the yellow brick road. No, it's not going to be that. Well, you know, she actually got snatched up. So that might actually be a good analogy 
But anyway, so no, you're gonna have you're gonna have to try some doors, okay? You're gonna have to try some things. It ain't it ain't like you just come down and you get handed a blueprint like, hey, this is what you this this is what you do today, okay? I mean, and it can be you can get those downloads when you um peacefully meditate, y'all, and ask your angels for guidance and the clarity. Like they be wanting to give you the answer. They be sitting on the side like, oh my God. <laughs> I know they be so frustrated, but listen, I'm saying you have to, like, you can't let this decision or this choice stump you. You got to keep going, Cancer. You got to keep going because um, you don't want to miss out on this, okay? And you have to, like, you're able to get, um, you can't, okay, so say you want to, y'all, okay, say you want to start a business, right? Um, but you ain't starting a business. Like you may be even sitting and living in a lack mindset, like, well, and granted, common sense, you got bills and all that, but you may be sitting over on the side, you just got this idea, idea, idea. It's just ruminating in your mind, just going, 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 but you ain't made no steps to making it happen. It you can't like how is how is something that's not even real yet that you haven't made real yet, like it's just a thought still. I mean, granted, real things start as thoughts. This table started as somebody's thought, y'all. It became real. It's tangible. We can touch it now. But it started as a thought. Some of you are stuck on thought mode. And you have to. It's like, yeah, okay, give yourself time to reflect. But you got to do, you got to make some steps too. And if you fail, if you if you hit a closed door, something in, something dries up, take it as divine intervention. You got to look at it from a higher perspective. That it's detouring you. That is your map. Of course, it ain't it ain't the fluffy map that we would like. Like, please come down here and give me the 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 coordinates or you know coordinates and I can put it in my GPS and I know exactly where to go. You know, it is like that for us, but it's not like that. It's not easy. So I get it, y'all. I understand. We here. We here, like we in this together. I'm just saying, but you gotta, you gotta get up and start, like, you like you're the body. You like you operate the body here, okay? The the spiritual world can be brought down, can't be brought down into the physical without your body. You know, like you gotta get moving, y'all. I could go deep, but I ain't because I said I was gonna keep it short. But anyway, let me finish the message. Um, the universe is always supporting you. Remember that, okay? You may want clarity before taking the step forward, but the universe, okay. Only when, only when you take steps and move forward can the universe conspire to uplift and support your momentum. Trust this process and watch the magic of the journey open up. What steps can you take today to move forward um, towards your vision in your heart and mind? You may feel stuck and trapped by life circumstances, but each step you take will reveal more of the plan, y'all. Oh, I could tell y'all about some things with this. Okay, take God in action and watch your life transform. Literally, okay? Um, the divine assignment today, y'all, says the universe knows what's in your heart. And the universe knows the quickest, most harmonious way to get there. Um, get what you truly need and want. Trust the timing. Manifesting what you want can be a joyful experience. Sorry, you guys. Y'all know I'm a cancer. I get a little emotional. But y'all, like I feel like I feel this very strongly because I know somebody may, it's like you're, I get it. Like I totally get it because it's like you want to sit and wait for, it's It's like I'm just going to sit and wait for the answer. I know it's going to come, but it doesn't work like that, y'all. Like you have to, you got to be, you got to meet the answer. You got to be hungry for the answer. I know it, it feels like, y'all, I'm not, okay, hold on. Let me wipe my tears. Okay. But anyway, um, y'all, you got to trust the timing. Manifesting what you want can be a joyful experience when you recognize it as a process. First, set your intentions. What do you truly desire? The universe is on standby waiting patiently to swoop in and support you, y'all. Y'all got to check out that message in the community tab. I, had, I did that message at like... 12 o'clock in the morning, I don't know, it, I had to sit down and do it. And it's really coincident inside in with this, y'all. Because I even titled it, God Swoops In. And the message, like, I feel like the word swoop is really significant. So, y'all, definitely check out the reading if this one is, you know, hitting for you like it's hitting for me, okay? Um, but, look, all you need to do is to take a step in any direction and ask for what you want. Know that you cannot make a mistake. For all experiences are valuable. 
you'll either learn more about what you want or about what you what you don't want y'all you really have to like i i get it i just get it okay i get it your mantra for today is i am right where i need to be to get where i want to go i take inspired guided action forward so what kind of got um guided actions can you take today cancer what have you what have you been waiting to do what 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 things have you been wanting to do? What things have you been desiring? What thing has been what what has been nudged on you? Like what what can you do to get you closer to the to the life that you envision for yourself? Sit and reflect on that, but then take a step. Like don't don't sit and wait for the answer to come. Go find the answer. And you do so by just trying things, y'all. Just like literally trying things and and like and I get it. I say I get it because y'all, I know we be afraid to fail. I know I'm afraid to fail sometimes, you know, but I'm I'm still working in the in, in the fact of, you know, being outside of that. Um, I've gotten to a much better place, but that's that's why I guess I get emotional, you guys, because I've been there. I get it. Like I I've been there. I've been there to where you just, you know what, I'm just gonna sit and wait for the answer, y'all. But it does not work like that. I did that. I y'all. I, I did that when I um, transparency moment. I did that when I was deciding to move from Charlotte to Atlanta, and I think I even did a live and even said that, like I was, <laughs> I was sitting in, I was thinking about moving to Atlanta. Like Atlanta was on my heart. Atlanta was on my mind. But I'm like, you know what? I don't know. You know. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit back and wait for. If it's supposed to happen, yeah, it's going to be like some big magical thing. God going to bust out the sky and say, yeah, go to Atlanta. Like, no. What I had to do was start making moves like I wanted to move to Atlanta. And when everything just started falling into place, like, and when I say like divine, y'all, I, I could give you a little testimony, but I ain't going to do it. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm just going to say, Cancer, take the step. Take the step. Do what you got to do. Take the step. You're rewarded with your momentum, with your, like, moving forward. That's that's where your rewards come from. Not sitting still, not sitting and overanalyzing the situation. But give yourself time to reflect now. Give yourself time. And then when, when you feel right about it, you got to make that move. You can't let nothing outside of that um ne ne negate you or deter you, y'all. Okay? Me meditation brings the answer. So that's how you get that's how you get your answers. I'm going to leave it here, though, y'all. I really do hope that this message resonates with someone and you found it helpful. Hopefully, if it's only one person, I'm okay with that. Because, boo, I see you. I know. I know. I get it. I've been there. So, I really, really hope that you got something from this, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Um, check out the description box again, like I said, for all the important information that you may want to know. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. In the meantime, in between time, until next time, I love you.